Hey everyone, this is Keith here, and uh, since Rust wants to crash immediately when I try joining a server, I'm going to go ahead and uh, play some TF2 with the Steam Controller today instead. Uh, so yeah, initially I was very uh, sort of skeptical at how well a game like Team Fortress 2 would run uh, with the Steam Controller, just because I mainly, I main as Scout, and you know, Scout's a very sort of twitchy, quick aiming uh, class. Um, so I was kind of like, uh, no, there's no way, and there's like a lot of buttons that you need to hit for things like taunting and stuff, so I was like, oh, there's no way, like, a Steam Controller can, you know, there's no way you could possibly get that much functionality out of this thing to be able to play a, uh, sort of FPS like this where you have multiple classes with different functions and stuff like that, but, um, I was actually really surprised with how well this game runs with the Steam Controller. I'm kind of blown away. Uh, the configuration I have is the default configuration that Valve provides. They have different mappings for when you're in uh, spectating the menus and, and the in-game pop-ups. Um, this is the main configuration here. I'm just going to sort of let you guys look at it so you can get a good idea. It does use gyroscope, and after sort of uh, messing around a little bit, I can say that I've sort of gotten used to gyroscope, but I prefer it to be really low in sensitivity. So that way I can still use the uh, trackpad as the main, uh, like to make quick aims, aims like this, and then sort of use the trackpad uh, to make very subtle adjustments. Um, and that's sort of how I use it in this game. What I'll do is I'll use the trackpad to put myself in the general vicinity, uh, like around the person, like that right there. And then I'll use the trackpad to sort of keep my aim on him as I move. And that's very important for Scout, is to be able to, um, you know, keep yourself, uh, you know, speed is your main thing, so you gotta, you know, constantly keep moving. Um, it's important to keep your aim on someone as you're, like, jumping and stuff like that. Uh, it is a little, still a little bit difficult, the Steam Controller, just because I haven't gotten used to, um, using the trackpad and gyroscope together at once, and so it's kind of a little bit, like, like, uh, uncomfortable for me right now. <laughs> Uh, but, you know, it's really not that bad, um, and, you know, as you can see, I'm definitely, you, you could hear the dings, I don't know how well they come up in the recording, but you could definitely tell that I am actually hitting people, uh, which is more than I can say about playing this game with an Xbox controller or, uh, a controller like that, where I just can't hit a damn thing, um, but, you know, yeah. So yeah, you know, I, in my, uh, original Steam Control review, I said I didn't really like gy Gyro that much. And I still kind of stand by that, but um, I'm sort of, you know, really adapting to it and I actually kind of like it. Uh, whoa. Oh. And I think there's definitely some applications for gyro. Uh, gyro is great for leaning and stuff like that. As you can see there, I just like did that subtle aiming with the gyroscope there. Um, it just works so well for that, like I'm really surprised. So I could just sort of lean my control like this, quickly go in. Okay, see now I need to use the track back because he's kind of too far. Myself, uh... So you know, I'm getting some shots in there and I definitely feel like with some more tweaking, like I haven't even uh, tweaked the settings. This is just straight up um, me using the recommended configuration. And you know, with no tweaking, I am getting hits um, and I am definitely doing some damage. Some damage. Um, I feel like with some tweaking, I could really get the sensitivity proper, um, and, you know, definitely do a much better job aiming. Yeah, my aiming is a little bit rough there. I'm trying to... Oh, got him. Woo. Yeah, I'm not quite as active as I would be with a mouse and keyboard. With a mouse and keyboard, I tend to jump more. Um, wow, there's some interesting things being said in the chat, okay. Uh, so yeah, it's a little bit, it's still a little bit difficult for me to sort of jump around and aim. Um, just because, like I said, I'm not really used to using the trackpad and, you know, um, gyroscope and all that in the one yet. But uh, I'm definitely getting there. Um, it does take some time to get used to, but I think it's, you know, worth the investment. I think the gyroscope is a powerful tool that could definitely benefit first-person shooter games. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and switch classes, which I think is, yeah, there we go, right on the trackpad menu. Once you're in this menu, you use the trackpad.
to uh, navigate it. Um, I'm gonna go as... Let's try a soldier. That's another like common class I tend to play. Um, and I, I feel like this would be uh, much... The like, Steam Patrol would be much easier with the, uh, you know, the soldier, because I do... My rockets do have a blast radius. So let's see if I can't rocket jump. Oh, no. A little bit of trouble here. Yeah, this is really strange for me. I think it's... Uh, there we go. Yeah, so rocket jumping is not easy just because I can't sort of quickly snap behind me. Um, but I mean, I could do like like that pretty easily. All right, let's see if I can't. Uh... Oh yeah, this isn't working out that well. <laughs> oh, there we go. Hmm. Yeah, it's a little rough to uh, rocket jump. But again, if I feel like if I tweak this, if I got the sensitivity up fairly high. I could uh, probably have a much better experience with this, but I'm just sort of showing you guys how it, uh... Oh, wow, I'm not even hitting jump. This is just me being awful right now. Okay, jump. There we go. Yeah, for some reason, I'm not hitting the uh, right grip to jump. I don't know why that's happening. Okay. Oh. Backstab, fantastic. Oh man, soldier is just such a slow class. <laughs> Especially when you come from scout. Ugh. There we go. Now I'm just sort of getting the hang of it. There we go. Yeah, I just wish it was a little bit quicker. I've finally been able to find the, uh, describe the sound, the, um, uh, sort of what it sounds like whenever you have haptic feedback on high and you're moving your thumb across the trackpad. It sounds like a Geiger counter. I don't like what they use to count like radiation levels. That's what it always uh, kind of feels like to me. Or sounds like to me, excuse me. There we go. So yeah, I'm sort of... Okay, I'm getting better at it. Yeah, definitely. So yeah, you know, like I said, with a little bit of tweaking, a little bit of practice, um, this could definitely... Be, you could definitely be much more effective with a steam controller. Um, I'm gonna try sniping now, just because I feel like, uh, you know, sniper, a lot of accuracy involved. Let's see how well it holds out. How do I edit my loadout? I think it's, uh, let me see. There we go, Y. Now do we, from here, okay. Now we got mouse control. Uh, let's be a, a little cheater and use the Machina. I know people hate that weapon. So there we go. Let's go ahead. I don't have a side weapon. Oh, that's right. I have the the backstab protector. Yeah, this seems like a, seems like a good class to try this out with. Okay, let's see. Oh, almost got him. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Oh. Okay. Yeah, it's a little rough, but it's not bad. Oh, wow. So, yeah, it's really not terrible, actually. Um, if you sort of... Ooh, almost got him. Like I said, if you just sort of use the right trackpad to quickly snap and then use the, the gyro to tweak, like, right there. That was actually a perfect example of using the gyro because I, I just sort of put my mouse in the general vicinity and I used the wow I didn't miss that I used the gyro to quickly snap myself on there so yeah the gyro actually works pretty well that's really surprising anyway yeah that's the only real classes I need to like show like like the you know medics are really easy class you know you can just just there you go you're playing medic um, and what else is there and, same thing with the pyro, you know, I think if you press this down, oh, the flog, uh-oh. Yeah, I'm a flog user. That uh, really got a strange buff, didn't it? I don't know whose idea that was. It's definitely taken me a little bit of time to sort of get used to navigating the menus, because each uh, menu has its own sort of key bindings, but uh, it kind of makes sense once you get used to it. Oh, wow, I have the pyro goggles. Yeah, as you can see, like, soft pressing the uh, left trigger is reload, but pressing it hard is the uh, air blast, compression blast, whatever it's called. That's actually, yeah, you know, this is the pyro, so it's not a very difficult uh, class to play as I feel like. Let's go ahead and try out the um, 
engineer. Let's just sort of mess around with him for a little bit. Okay. And use okay, and use the left track pad to hit. Uh, hit A. Find where you want to plant something. Bam. And then there you go. You're playing engineer. So yeah, I mean, uh, overall, you know, really surprised. Um, I expected it to be crappy and not being able to hit anything and you know having maybe having to switch configurations per class but actually you know it's pretty versatile and uh, it works you know pretty well on just about every class once again i am using the recommended uh configuration by valve you know tf2 is a valve official game um and here you can see all the settings for the uh basic when you're in game um yeah well that works surprisingly well uh yeah, you know, Steam Controller, I'm loving it every day. Uh, my next video of this is going to be on Rust once it decides to play properly and at crash whenever I try to join a server. And with that game, I had similar results where it worked really, really well after, although Rust was a bit of a pain to set up. Um, anyway, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Uh, Squad 57 signing out.